creatine is one of the most researched and effective supplements out there, but it also happens to be one of the most misunderstood. If you're training hard, hitting your wads, and looking for an edge in performance and recovery, you've probably heard people say all sorts of things about creatine, some true, most not. So today, we're breaking down five of the biggest creatine myths and setting the record straight. Let's start with one of the biggest concerns people have. Does creatine make you lose your hair? The short answer, no. The idea comes from a single 2009 study that showed creatine might slightly increase DHT, a hormone linked to hair loss. But here's the thing, there's no actual evidence that creatine causes hair loss in people who aren't already genetically predisposed to it. Plenty of things like exercise itself can slightly impact hormone levels, but that doesn't mean they're making you bald. If you're already at risk for hair loss, it might be worth keeping an eye on. But for the vast majority of people, creatine isn't going to affect your hair at all. This next one has been around forever. People think creatine is hard on the kidneys because it increases creatinine levels in the blood. But here's the catch. Creatinine is just a byproduct of creatine metabolism and higher levels don't automatically mean kidney damage. In healthy people, study after study has shown that creatine has no harmful effects on kidney function, even when taken for years. The only exception, if you already have kidney disease, talk to a doctor before supplementing. But if your kidneys are healthy, creatine isn't going to hurt them. A lot of people avoid creatine because they've heard it causes bloating, but what they're really thinking of is water retention. Yes, creatine pulls water into your muscles, but that's actually a good thing. It helps with hydration, improves muscle function, and supports endurance. The only time people feel bloated from creatine is if they take too much at once, especially during a loading phase. If you stick to a simple three to five gram daily dose, there's no noticeable bloating, just better hydration and stronger muscles. You've probably heard that you need to take 20 grams a day for a week to load your muscles before switching to a maintenance dose. While loading does get your muscle stores saturated faster, it's not necessary. You can just take three to five grams per day from the start. And after a few weeks, your levels will be fully saturated anyway. Loading can speed up the process, but if you don't want to deal with taking four doses a day or the potential digestive issues that come with it, you can just take your daily dose and let it build up naturally over time. Some people believe that if you take creatine too long, your body will stop producing it naturally, so you need to cycle off. That's not how it works. Your body does make creatine on its own, but supplementing doesn't shut down production, it just increases your total supply. There's no research showing that long-term creatine use is harmful or that you need to take breaks. If anything, consistency is key for getting the full benefits. Creatine is one of the safest and most effective supplements you can take if you train hard and want to improve strength, endurance, and recovery. It's not gonna make you bald, destroy your kidneys, or leave you bloated. Those are just myths that refuse to die. If you're serious about performance, creatine is a simple, affordable way to get an edge. Take three to five grams daily, stay hydrated, and you'll get all the benefits without any of the unnecessary worries. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment with any questions you have about creatine or other supplements. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.